You get a line, I get a pole. We'll go fishing in the crawfish hole. Five car poker on Saturday night, church on Sunday morning. Good evening. This is Rob from Trout Desert Fly Time in the Vice. We have the jungle ant. Hard bodied. Tying this on a TMCO TMC 100 BL size 12. We're using red 140, black 140. We're using Collins Hackle Farm and Smoky Deer for our hackle. It's got some good colors to it brown, black, and red in there. It goes across the water, it really develops a beautiful color. And Loon Outdoors UV Clear Fly Finish in Thick. That is it. All right, let's get started. Get a clean hook in the vise. One of the things I kind of do on this fly more than any other, uh, I tie it with the hook up. And I tie it that way because for me it's the easiest way to develop the football taper that you need at the end. Start with the red. And we actually start tying at the front of the hook. This is so we can develop a little bit of the body with this red before we get started. Bring it back. As we get to where the back of the body really starts to develop, clip it. We're going to take this body. And develop it like I said a football shape got a pretty good taper to it take it back along the hook into the bend start developing that football as we go we're going to take that taper a little further back each time you don't want it to go too far down the hook Getting close to the right shape and size, good length. Now, we're going to finish this back up here again with developing some more body. Tie this Catskill style. Don't want to get it too close to the eye of the hook. And we're going to whip finish up near the front. A couple of good turns. Tighten that up. And we're done with the red. Let's move on to the black. With the black, I'm going to keep it away from the eye of the hook. Same way we do with the red. This time, I'm going to get near the red. Part of the body. Clip it off. Take it all the way back to where you want it to truly start. Take it back forward. Make sure we're covering all of this red. Traditionally this is tied with a smaller Part of the body up front, then the back. This time we are going to whip finish closer to the middle. The reason we do this, all the hackle that's going to be on here in a little bit, it's going to hide it pretty well. And it keeps stray hairs out of the body. Because the only thing we're doing. Covering it with a little thick. When you get what you want on there, kind of work it around. Same with the black. Don't worry about it if you get a little 
more on there than you wanted. Just take your bobcat and push it around. Now one thing that I try to do is develop a small ball at the top of each one of these. That's where you're going to get your color. Hit it with the UV light. Thick is a gr this thick is a great, great coating for this. Um, dries pretty much instantly, but only on the outside. So this fly actually takes about 24 hours to dry if you're going to dry it outside. If you have the big UV light, 36 watt, you can get it done in a couple hours, maybe a little less. 15 minutes at a time. Tie it, pull it, tie it, pull it till you get it dry. For the hackle, I like somewhat of a buggy body on this. We're gonna cut a lot of this off. What I wanna end up with is about a size six. Now, I'm tying this on a 12 with a size six hackle. The reason I'm doing this is because we're trying to make this terrestrial sit really well on top of the water. See we gave it a little bit of haircut on one side. Let's bring this in. Tie this in pretty tight. Now to go along with the fact that I like the longer hackle, I like four wraps. Really buggy, really bushy. We want this thing to ride really high to the front takes two two good captures you get the second one follow it up really tight into that body now this whip finish is a little different maybe than some I am going to whip finish it in the middle and the reason that I do this is because this loon is not truly dry. I don't want to break it. If you get too close to the loon while you're pulling the string, you're going to pop it. It's going to have a weird white color to it. I've tied this fly enough times to know what that weird white color looks like. Dress it a little. Make sure all those hairs are in the right place. And there you have a hard body jungle ant.